<laughs> this video went viral last year. I know I'm late on this, but then, <laughs> what was your first reaction when you saw this video? A little boy dumb, slapped her and brought out the inner monster in her. She was about to do the same thing, but then uh, the love of a mother or I instantly just told her like he's a young boy calm down and this got a lot of people talking about motherhood has this ever happened to you being a mom and you just have received a dirty slap from your child or from your niece your nephew your friend's baby any baby around that just you know <laughs> slaps you or do something that really hurts you but then you thought about oh you're just a little baby <laughs> let me know down in the comment section i have interesting stitches on this video to share with you all so let's go ahead and watch the stitches together and i'll be back to share my own opinion at the end of all the stitches <laughs> Now, I don't know this mom. I don't know anything about her parenting philosophy. I don't know anything about how she was parented, but I do know moments like that. Nothing, and I do mean nothing, tests your gangster like being a f***ing mom. I can't speak for the dad, so please feel free to chime in in the comments section. But what I can tell you is that my experience as a mother, specifically a mother who survived her own childhood trauma, is that becoming a mom myself has brought all of my animalistic urges to the surface. And by animalistic, I mean survival instincts, trauma responses. I've been hit in my life. I have had my boundaries violated in a variety of ways. And in order to survive, I developed some very misguided forms of defending or protecting myself. And when your child does something age-appropriate and unintentional that triggers trauma that is stored in your body, it can be very challenging to reference your rational mind. And in moments like that, where your body registers physical pain, it is not uncommon for your first instinct to be to defend yourself. When my daughter was four years old, she threw a snow boot at me and hit me square in the nose, and I had to leave the room because I felt like the fucking Hulk. When I was recovering from breast reduction surgery, my son kicked me in the chest where my incisions were healing. I immediately saw red and I had to walk away. These urges don't make me or you bad moms. As a fellow mother and a trauma survivor, I want to validate your emotional experiences. Motherhood tests all of your limits. And you're not a bad mom because you're having a hard time. In fact, as a mental health counselor, let me normalize for you that the reason why a lot of us are having a hard time is because we are trying actively to heal beyond how we were treated as children. The learning curve is steep. Mount Everest could never. I know that you do not want to scare or hurt your children. But if that's true for you, then you have to keep healing yourself. Because if you don't repair it, you repeat it. Mm. And personally, I've realized that one of the hardest parts of parenting is that I have to reparent myself. Because my children deserve better. Yeah. And so do yours. And so did we. I know it's not fair. You didn't make this mess. But you are responsible for cleaning it up. I'm in it with you. Hit the reset button and try again. You got this, mamas. I know I've seen a lot of comments on this video going, you know, nothing tests your inner gangster like a kid. I'm going to take a different route with this because I have done what she did. And it wasn't because my kid was testing my inner gangster. It's because I grew up abused hmm. and I was in several abusive relationships. So anything, even in play comes at me, I draw back and I am ready to go. Hmm. And then I see it's my kid or just anybody. And I have to stop myself from opening a can of trauma-induced whoop-ass on somebody who doesn't deserve it. So kudos to that mom for whatever reason that she was able to shut it down. Yeah. 
that's that's immaculate because it happens a lot more than people would like to admit. <laughs> Girl, same. There is nothing quite like your own child slapping the shit out of you that just reminds you of like your inner gangster. <laughs> Where you're just, mm, 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 I love you so much, but yeah, no, I, I feel ya. Meh. I want to talk about this moment in this video a little bit because, um, I have been here so many times with my kids. Um, my kids age range from 13 to three right now. Um, and there was so many times when they were very little and I still have one that's relatively little um, where I would be hit in the face. And for me, it probably doesn't go for everybody, but for me, anytime I was hit in the face, it was like instant anger. I had to reel myself in and be like, nope, we're not gonna smack the child just because we have been hit. Um, but I also noticed it coming to play in a lot of um, interactions I have with my older kids now because um, there'll be times where they talk back or they have an attitude or they're having a bad day and they're snippy or whatever else and it triggers me so badly um, partially because of the way that I was raised and partially because had I acted like that as a child I would have gotten my ass beat and having to reparent yourself and put yourself in a, a situation where you are patient in in places where you were not given patience before shows up really hardcore as a previously traumatized adult and so it's something now that i'm having to teach myself that it's okay for these things to happen it's okay for my children to act that way it is my responsibility as an adult to explain to them that hey this behavior is not okay um to apologize for my behavior when i get to the point where i'm out of line because that happens sometimes um and to sh show them respect so that i also get respect in return if you're still here, kindly put your thoughts, your comments, your opinion down in the comment section. Have this ever happened to you, being a mom or your friend, baby, your niece, your nephew, or a little baby ever hit you and you want to you respond immediately, but then you're like, oh, you're just a baby, but if you were not a baby, I would have gotten your ass beaten. <laughs> have this ever happened to you? For me, this has happened to me several times. <laughs> several times. Like, I feel like if you have a child around, this is a norm. <laughs> because they will, most of the time, always want to raise their hand. They just, for them, they are playing, they don't even know what you're doing, especially when they're just still a baby. They will just, you know, try to play with you and all of that and it might pain you so much that <laughs> you will even want to cry because the pain is so much <laughs> this has happened to me several times and now people in the, in the stitches were talking about childhood trauma because of the response and everything yes that may happen as well because normally you were beaten when you were young see they beat you a lot and it got to a stage that you have to start defending yourself and because of that you know instance that reflex will just happen and you just want to you know do your own back and all of that which is fine and then uh you know reaction when a son hits her in fact i applaud that because <laughs> most of the time you know <laughs> while i was growing up my mom, they will beat you. <laughs> Aunties will beat you because you hit them, they will hit you back and be stop it. And when they hit you back, when you're crying, they will not tell you, mm hmm. It was painful, so stop it. Like, I just feel like once the child hits, they hit back because that is how they feel like it should be done. But then the way she acted and she just held back, with that, she can actually tell the son you know quiet parenting or whatever they call it <laughs> that don't do that is no good and this one will even understand more but then if you want to stop a child from hitting you and i don't think the best way to respond is by hitting the child back i feel like the best way to respond is you know 
when the child eats you, keep hitting you, keep hitting you, be like, don't do it, don't, you don't have to eat the child back to make the child know that what they are doing is wrong, if that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, this is a short video, a short clip that I want to share with you all today. Let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. What, your, what was your first reaction when you saw that slap on the face? <laughs> from the little boy let me know your thoughts down in the comment section if this ever happened to you as well kindly share your experience and opinion suggestion down in the comment section thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kindly turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified when i upload another interesting video like this one and i'll see you all in my next video bye